Today we're going to walk you through how to recover a liver shot deer. It's important to note that a liver shot deer is always a fatal wound. Therefore, you need to just understand what you're dealing with, take your time, and pay attention to the little things. So let's get right into the hunt. This deer came right as we were getting ready to get out of the woods, and we were trying to determine whether it was a doe or a button buck, because if it was a doe, we were definitely going to take it. But if it was a button buck, we were going to let it walk. And so, as it was approaching, my dad was getting out of the stand and walking up his path, and I was trying to get his attention, but he wasn't paying any attention at all. He's not paying any attention. Can you tell this? I can't tell. It's in the creek. Jump the creek. My initial reaction was that I hit way back, but it's still critical that you watch as far as you possibly can every single step that that deer makes and the way that it reacts as it goes and then even after that just listen in that direction to make sure that you hear for crashes or any other sort of struggle or anything along those lines pretty far back wasn't it i thought so yeah. that was not an ideal shot placement up and down look good, but it looked pretty far back. We're gonna have to watch the tape back, give it some time. I heard a small crash over there. Yeah, I wondered. But... I hear crashing right now. <sighs> well, definitely hit it back. Um, so we're gonna give it some time. We did hear a crash, but... Uh, it was uh, not what you wanted to go for from a shot placement standpoint. So hopefully caught back of the lung liver, but uh, I don't think so. Gotta make that shot, that's a freaking chip shot. Please be blood on the arrow. When checking the arrow, if you find good blood on the arrow, then there's a good chance that you hit liver. If there isn't a whole lot of blood on the arrow, then chances are it's a gut shot. In this case, I had good blood. All right, well, I got down and checked the arrow. It's actually got blood on it, pretty decent blood. So uh, hopefully that means I caught liver. Um, we're still gonna give it time because you don't wanna mess around in these situations. We heard a crash. Uh, we're gonna back out quietly um, and then come back in here after uh, probably three hours or so and uh, see if we can't find it. The bare minimum amount of time you want to wait on a liver shot is three hours, but if the conditions are right and it's not going to rain, then there's no rush in uh, letting that deer lay for longer than three hours. And ideally like six to six to eight hours is going to ensure that deer has enough time to pass. We ended up deciding to let the deer lay and come back after dark, which was well over six hours and ultimately recovered the deer exactly where we heard it crash, just on the other side of the creek. Well, she went down exactly where we heard the crash. So it was still worth it to wait. It was cold, no rain, nothing. She got across the creek here, got over to the other side and went down. I was lucky. Very lucky. So just remember, a liver shot is always a fatal shot, and if you take these steps, you will have a good chance of recovering your deer. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications, and check out some more of our videos. Thanks for watching.